Hello and uh, welcome. I'm actually on a vlog, even though it looks like I've got no clothes on. I'm uh, in my bed shorts. I've just had a shower. We've been out and about today, uh, seeing we. There's four of us out and about. Uh, I won't introduce everyone now. I'll introduce everyone sometime tomorrow. Um, we are on our holly bobs. We are on a long-awaited holiday that we decided to come on two years ago. Two years we've been trying to get on this trip. We've had all sorts of things, including the pandemic, obviously, uh, to overcome. Uh, then we had someone pull out and we dropped down to three. And then we had another fill-in who's now made it up to four. Um, as you can see, as I'm talking, I'll be putting over some B-roll and stuff like that. We're actually on airplanes. We are going on a flight. We are leaving the UK. In fact, I'm not in the UK at the moment. I'm nowhere near the UK. Um, I'm not going to tell you where I am because we're not where we're supposed to be. We've had a murder of a day. Um, we started off with having to book the flights a little bit early to try and overcome the um, the, the big rush hour. It's, 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 you know, it's a holiday season and we've got a lot of staff apparently on sick leave. So there's not, you know, a shortage of staff on the airport. So we had to leave early. So we booked an early flight, two hours early. Uh, so we got a good early start this morning. We headed out, got our flight. We were fine. We got on the first flight, no problem at all. Uh, and then we got to the second flight. We had a bit of a hold up. Uh, so, you know, we were sort of running late anyway. And the hold up wasn't playing in our ball, playing in our favour. So we ended up sitting there and sitting there. And then we got a Tanai message. Uh, someone's missing on the plane. So then, of course, they had to get the luggage off, so we had to wait 20 minutes and then another 10 minutes to get radio control to get us off the, off the ground. So nevertheless, we sat there and we were late. We knew we were going to be late. We're not going to make our next flight. We were not going to make our transfer. Um, we tried to get some information off of the staff. They couldn't help us until we got sort of closer to where we are now. And uh, when we got to flight, when we, when we landed, when the plane came in for land, we were told that we were late. The flight's already gone. There was 11 people heading where we're going. And like I said, I'm not telling you until I get there. Um, there's 11 people on that flight that didn't make the flight. So we got stranded in the airport. Not only did we get stranded in the airport, no one seemed to want to help. Um, lucky enough, Mr. O is with us now. Owen's a thoroughbred flyer. Um, he kept his cool, kept his nerve, and we run up and down, or he run up and down the, the airport quite a few times. Uh, we ended up eating in the 7-Eleven, which was our evening meal, but we're in a hotel, at least, at least for the courtesy, and eventually we got round to talking to someone and they put us up in a hotel, um, which is the least they can do, to be honest. Um, so yeah, we're, we're not quite where we're supposed to be tonight. We are gonna get back on the uh, airport tomorrow morning, bright and early, we've got a taxi book first thing in the morning, so all we've had is shower and sleep tonight, heading off on our trip tomorrow, and when I get to where we're going, I wanna switch you back on and I'll report in. So between now and then, enjoy this menagerie of taking off and landing and taking off and landing and uh, yeah i'll see you tomorrow sometime with my clothes on and all i'm doing is checking in so stick with it thoroughly going to enjoy this next few days you're going to have some amazing videos coming your way amazing views amazing sights and hopefully some amazing photography and uh, yeah see you in a bit sometime tomorrow morning bye <laughs> Well, good morning. We are all up. We've just had breakfast, and um, yeah, we're all kicking off about this lift. It won't work unless you've got a bleeding card on it. But we are on our next leg. This could be, this could be it. We could be getting there. So, uh, I'll see you at the airport.
finally made it to the plane. Dun dun dun. We're on our way. Um, that's all I can say. I'll speak to you when I get there. We are here, we've made it. SAS Scandinavian Airline, and we're down on the ground. Feet are firmly on the Faroe Islands. Welcome to my videos, welcome to the vlog, welcome to the Faroe Islands. The next few videos are gonna be absolutely amazing. All we've got to do now is find our baggage, get our camera gear, and away we go. Speak to you when we get out of this airport. Not gonna say we're excited or anything, but... Oh, amazing. We've just got off a plane, and like I said to you just now, and we can see mountains all around us, so we are buzzing and we've been wanting to do this a long long time yeah, two years in the waiting two years definitely so planning. yeah planning waiting videos youtube you watch it we've seen it and uh, now we're here to enjoy it so i'm not going to do a lot we've got to wait for our baggage 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 we've got to wait for our bags tripods and things are all in the bag so as soon as we get them uh, we've got a car to collect and we're going to head over to our place taking a few photos on the way so speak to you in a bit we've got breath coming out it's actually cool here it's nice and fresh air but this 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 is what we're here for look at this this is a straight out the airport it was a short short runway so they had to land and break really really hard but we've got mountains straight on the doorstep this is what we've come for this is what it's going to be this week and we are buzzing after two years of waiting oh, can't wait can't wait to get my camera out now and start playing Car got. We've now got our car. This is our little car for the week. Mr. Rose driving. It's good of him, but he's organised all that side, and it means I can have a play with me camera while he's driving. Um, but yeah, that's our car. Our Renault again for the week. And I just keep looking around. We've got this is just a scratch of what we're going to get and what we've got to see. So we now got to pile them all in. I just wonder whether to bring it forward before we get them in. Um, no one's using this spot here, is they? Right. I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, so we've picked up our car now and we are heading off for our first play area. Um, can't pronounce the name of the word. I will put all the places up on the screen throughout the week for you because there's not a cat's chance I'm going to be able to say any of them. But I'll have a go. I'll give it a turn. But we can see some amazing views in front of us at the moment and it's pretty spectacular. The only problem we have got is I'm sat on the wrong side of the car and Owen seems to be driving on the wrong side of the road. So that's something we've got to put up with. But the views literally two seconds outside the car park are phenomenal. I just don't know how I'm going to contain myself. You know what I'm like. Looks bigger in real life. I don't know. I'm waiting to see Dragon Air. It is a long walk, isn't it? It doesn't look a lot, but then you look scared of the magnitude. Isn't it? Like... 0.4 miles is obviously around that bend then. Windows up. 
me very well at the moment but we've just experienced our first tunnel and oh my goodness they're long ones they really are and now we're coming back out into the daylight bright lights but we are blown away by the views already it is exactly what it says on the tin it really is fantastic and we've literally scratched the surface of a couple of miles so I'm determined not to make all these videos extremely, extremely long. This first one, obviously, the old journey of getting here and stuff like that, it's been a bit of a fun-packed one, um, you know, just trying to, in, to give you a bit of a taste of what we've gone through to actually get to this place. And we've come to our first location, which was probably four miles from the airport, if that. Um, and it's, I've forgotten the name of the place already, Grossen... Grossaladu. Grossaladu, that's what we're going to go with that, Grossaladu. Gross, gross on of a, you know what it is, it's up on the screen. Uh, it's a waterfall with this magic backdrop. So we're gonna walk down there, we've unpacked our tripods, very easy, we all know where our tripods were. I've actually got the sister to the brother. So I've got a slightly lighter tripod this weekend, or this week, and uh, I'm just gonna make sure it's staked into the ground if it gets a bit windy. But at the moment, I've got my T-shirt on, it's bearable temperature, but I probably wouldn't want to go up too high with it. So I'm going to try not to waffle as much. If I do, I'm going to get these guys to remind me to shut up yeah. and enjoy the countryside. So I'll see you down at the viewpoint. I am so, so excited. And I'm just going to move the camera around just this way because this, this is going to be my first ever use of this tripod and my first ever photograph on the Faroe Islands. And we've literally just got off the aeroplane and we're here, the tripods are out and listen to the trigger, ready? first photograph I'm gonna put my two second timer back on though but that's it first one's done I'm now gonna concentrate take my time and enjoy this this is obviously not the ideal conditions for this it really isn't but we set up the camera, we've got that amazing shot. I've only taken one. I haven't got my filters on me because my filters are still packed in my case. So I really need to unpack everything. But we've got this beautiful little bit of cloud right above the top of the mountain. Uh, you've got the houses, which gives you all that scale. You've got the perfect little waterfall on the right hand thirds. You've got this beautiful lead in and the flow that comes through the image. And the water is so, so clear. It is stunning. You do not need any filters on this image. It's just made for you. And I've just been talking to a local and he said, if you slip, you die. Um, you literally are stood here. If you slip, you die. There's, there's no, it might be okay, you're not. So you do not take any risks, any excessive that you need to. I'm already on the edge, um, but I'm standing on concrete. I have been told this, you know, you can go down the steps and have a look there, but they're quite, you know, dodgy. But we're all here, we're doing the job, and this is what we come for. Absolutely amazing, buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. Got to control my excitement because it's been a long, long time coming. I can't, there's no good taking hundreds of photographs of this because it's just no point. Um, I'm at F11, which has given me all the depth of field. Obviously, on a different day, the conditions are gonna be completely different. The local did say that you can have four different seasons in 15 minutes. He said you can get everything straight away. So I'm so intrigued to see what happens with the weather, the conditions and everything. But at the moment, it's a beautiful start because we've got this beautiful weather to keep you sort of welcome us here. So at least we can get our bearings, get our footings before it gets interesting. So so excited so so excited oh i really am i'm treading on footsteps that some of the greatest people that i follow and admire have been to and done oh so cool so i've come down the steps a little bit already i've, I've come down the first few steps and it does say these steps are quite dodgy but in all fairness they actually look pretty safe to what i'd actually walk on uh, i've walked on a lot worse in the time um, so i've come down a few of them because they're quite big steps and the views, that I like the view here. Um, it gives me a bit more separation to the mount, to the mountain and everything. I've got this cliff side on the right hand side, which is actually framing it and pushing us in the other side because it's a dead space. Whereas before I had some shadows and messiness on the right hand side. And I've got birds flying around underneath me as well. Hello, Mr. Seagull, you're the first one I said hello to. Uh, there's a big cave down there. Again, the local that I was talking to just now, he just said that when the waves are smashing and it's smashing them back out, 
it does look like it's, it's so so calm i please flew please don't keep it that calm all week oh i'd be so upset if it was calm but yeah it'd be so nice if i can get a picture of a seagull in there i think i'm going to knock it down to f8 to get some speed and get those seagulls just in that right spot so i can paste one in look at that i just got a seagull magic right where i wanted it in the little gap on the uh, clouds so i am i'm just going to take a couple of shots take my timer off take the uh, bracketing off and see if I can get a few seagulls as well. Location one is done. Gossen, Gossen Drososa, or Gdosova, uh, whatever it is. Um, yeah, we've ticked that one off our box. So nice. As soon as I put the camera down, as soon as the live view came on the back of the screen, I've seen that image so many times. And uh, yeah, it's amazing to see it appear on the back of your own camera. Absolutely cool. Now, we will be doing bucket locations, Faroe Island bucket locations and uh, I'm getting shouted at because I'm like, I've got to run, I've got to keep up with them. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's going to be amazing. So looking forward to this week. I'm actually going to end this video here and now because we've got the journey, we've come over, we've made it here, our feet are firmly on the ground and I've taken my first photograph. So I'm buzzing. I am going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. If you do want to see more from the Faroe Islands, my adventures, our adventures, the fun we're going to get up to this next five nights, please stay tuned. They could be long videos. They could be more than just photography, but I'm sure you won't want to miss out the epicness I get up to this week. I cannot wait. See you soon. Ciao for now. Oh, so excited. I've got to catch up with these.